Greetings, fellow pickpockets, fences, and thieves. Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to War Tales, Episode 10, Suspicion. Kath leveled up. So, um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to do willpower. I would like to try to get everyone to at least 15 willpower. So far, I've been really good about avoiding people um, going into critical health. But having willpower 15 gives you, like, one get-out-of-death-free card, which is very nice to have. So we were headed back to Stromcap, I think. But actually, while we're next to this, um, while we're next to the tower, I might as well do the tower. I've been really hoping to try to find wolf meat for Taurus, but we just have not had any luck. Oh, that will help. I can actually see it now. Um, so, see this symbol here? Uh, I'm going to turn blue for the duration of the spoiler. It's only a small spoiler. But uh, I'm going to be blue anyway. So, that skull there indicates that um, they're part of a multi-part event in this region. Um, so, killing enemies that have skulls will help to weaken a stronger fight later on. Yeah. Figured I'd mention it so that you knew what it was, but I, you know. There you go. So let's let's head into that tower and, and free them. Or do whatever. So it's three hoodlums, two poachers, lawless thieves. This is an interesting battlefield because it has like powder kegs and mud and um, paralyzing oils and uh, there's just just a lot more going on in this base. And if you're wondering, I, it hasn't happened to me yet, but enemies can use environmental objects against you just as much as you can use it against them. So there's nothing really stopping this hoodlum from grabbing the paralyzing oil, for instance. Meaning that it might be wise for like shield to grab it first or so, or probably Roy. So let's have Roy switch in there because Roy can run to the oil and then like bulldoze. Uh, so the first one that takes a, a, a turn is this hoodlum. And then me, the hoodlum, me, me, and then this hoodlum. So these two northern hoodlums are the ones that we're gonna wanna isolate first. Do we know where all the enemies are? Poacher, hoodlum, 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 and then... I don't see the last enemy. Oh, oh, poacher up there. Okay. Uh, so Helga will try to get to this poacher, but she's not going to be able to get there in one turn. So Shield can get to this hoodlum. Dai can get to that hoodlum. Roy can get to the Paralyzing Oil, and then to this Hoodlum. And then Kath will get to that Poacher, and Jazz can help to support damage in the top. Got it. Actually, I'm going to switch Die and, yeah, Helga. So Helga, you're going to go after this Hoodlum now. Building up an extra point so that it can immediately rampage the Sudlum to death. And it's dead. And we're galvanized, which is going to help out a lot. Holy moly. And you can just keep moving. Uh, so yeah, close in on the next Sudlum. And stand there. Intimidatingly. So the next one that acts is the one that Helga's next to. So I'm going to have shield come in and Pound him. I could kill him. But we're already galvanized, right? So I think I'm going to have Roy go grab that paralyzing oil. Oil up his weapon. Get as close to this hoodlum as possible. And then try to close in on that poacher. So this hoodlum here is not only paralyzed, but also in mud. So he's barely has any movement, as you can see. He only can get to Roy 
which uh, is a pretty limited amount of um, combat options. Did they recently update this game? I have no idea. All right, Kath. Oh, good. Kath can make it to the poacher. And he's dead. Kath gets a lot of, like, uh, specialty kills like that pretty regularly. Oh, good. Uh, I can get next to shield for the kill. And that also will give me a free valor point. So, the one problem is this archer is just going to get free shots on me, but it's one of two enemies left, so it's not that problematic. Because now I can close and kill. I don't want to use one of my non-temporary Valor points, though. I don't mind getting punched. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Alright, what do we have left? We have this poor guy that's just about to get smacked by Roy. He's dead. They're demoralized, don't want to run, but I'm going to say I don't care. It's open world in the fact that there's no particular order to what you have to do things in. What is this? Uh, okay, it's a plant. It's making sure it wasn't a bear trap I'm stepping into. So it's not open world in that, like, you could do whatever. There is, um, like, especially for region lock, and I explained this at the start of the stream, there's definitely a, um, uh, progress. But it's a, it's a story-based game, so. So you're allowed to do everything in whatever order that you want. The tower is cleared. There's a bunch of things to open up. We've got poison throwing knives, a, a healing um, pouch, and a military report for knowledge. Good. I love knowledge items. Even the ones that I, I... I mean, I found some others that like I chose not to steal because I don't want to be a thief. But stealing from thieves, yeah, that's fine. And he's experienced. No longer gets caught when discovered stealing. Oh, nice. And I got grapes, which allows me to make uh, mutton. Uh, awesome. So that's... Allows me critical hit and dex up. Now that I'm experienced. I think that's it for here. And this is a uh, probably a good use case for setting up um, climbing anchors. Oh, it's too far. Uh, rope is too long. Come on now. I don't want to have to walk all the way down. Maybe I'll have to use two of them. They need to highlight interactable ski. You know, that's actually what I thought initially, but there's a really good argument to be made of like not having that, which is it would just direct your attention to everything so that you would like benefit from everything all the time. It'd be a little, you could, it less, it cheapens discovery. Uh, so it looks like setting it up here only leads to another stuck point. So I'm not gonna bother with that. I know that we, uh, we need to camp. I was just hoping to get a little bit further. Uh, off the mountain. Oh, 
away from this ambush. Oh no, those are the uh, purifier groups. There we go. Let's camp here. So monolith, I don't have a scholar, so that's moot. Uh, we are going to be able to do a strategy table this time, so I'm going to do... Actually, I'll have you guys pick. So opportunism, support, or flanking. Opportunism is an opportunity of attack, increase 10%. Support is standing next, uh, having two free allies standing next to someone reduces damage. And flanking is increases the debuff supplied by surrounding an enemy with two free enemy, uh, enemies. So I'll have you guys pick that. Uh, I should be able to, yep, I can cook mutton stew because I found those grapes. Sick. Which allows me to serve up mutton stew for dinner. So mutton stew... Two apples and bread. That's a pretty balanced meal. Actually, I could do mutton stew and pork. Eh, no, that's... Let's not do that. Two mushrooms and... Uh... Dried fish. Or maybe one mushroom and one apple. It doesn't really matter. I'm just... Mixing it up. So, you guys did want opportunism. Alright. I won't have to make any changes. Let's just rest. Is there any other changes to do before I uh, sleep? No. I don't have the better cooking pot yet. I really ought to unlock that, because it will help to uh, keep us better fed. Okay, we're still plenty happy. And now we have the opportunism bonus. So, up here, you can see that up until our next... Oh, hold on, let me hide the overlay. Up until our next rest, we've got 15% uh, uh, strength, and then we also have that uh, experience gain, maximum valor points, and all the other bonuses that we, we um, benefited from. So we're still looking for wolves for Taurus because he's, uh, he's infected. And... Usually, the forest areas around here during the day are ideal. There's also a possibility of getting the wolf meat off of trade caravans, so I can also t take that approach too. I don't really care how I get the wolf meat, I just want to get the wolf meat so that I can help him out. Might I interest oh my you god, in my is that ever locked? Wares, Look at that. One, two, three. So I just bought all the wolf meat that we need so we can head back over and uh, and help him out. Also, let's go ahead and Helga, our Berserker. You get the free healing item. So at the end of every turn, you heal 1% of your maximum health. Ooh, you know what? That makes... Uh, it's a lot more effective to give it to someone that has a lot more health. 1% of 46 is a lot more than 1% of 28. So we'll do that instead. Uh, and then also let's read this military report. And we have another knowledge point. So, where was he? He was, um... Woodland Farm? Yeah. So we're actually right next to where we need to help him. So we'll run over to the farm and, uh, and free Taurus from his infection. And then I'm going to want to bring him over to the town's uh, apothecary to actually cure him. Oh, really? You're jumping me? Big mistake, friends. So five enemies. They're all melee? Wow, you guys are going to get smoked. Real bad. So this henchman goes first, and I can get to him in one turn. Awesome. Actually, maybe Roy so that I can multi-hit them. Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's fun. All 
Alright, who's next? It's... This henchman? Can he reach anywhere? Okay, so he can get to Kath. So I'll have Kath... Um... Counter. Kick him in the nuts! And then slice his head off. And we're galvanized. Having exceptionally higher willpower than the enemies uh, makes these things easy. Alright, the next enemy is going to fight is this henchman, so I'm going to taunt him and weaken him so I can ignore him for a round. It also gives me another Valor Point because uh, Kath gets Valor Points by engaging enemies. So I used a Valor Point to gain a Valor Point, so uh, it's pretty nice. Um... I guess I'll work on this raider next. And he's dead. And then the one behind him is also dead. Killing two people in one round is like nothing for Helga as a Berserker. <laughs> two damage? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're screwed. <laughs> you're, you're so dead. Oh! That's gonna hurt. And there, my Valor points are back up again. Normally, Shield's the one that goes first in the round, but, like, I dominated them so hard I didn't even need him to, to be the first man in. And Kath is just gonna solo this last dude, no problem. We're done. Disgusting. In fact, I almost came away with no repair cost, either. We got two sets of armor out of that, too. Pretty good result. All right, Taurus, I'm here. I'm here to feed you. I heard what my wife told you. She's right. All right, Taurus has joined our company. Take a look at him. He's a warrior. He has infection. So this unit is sick with plague. They can only eat meat and maybe go mad if they become famished. Uh, I am going to raffle him. So he's carnivorous. He needs to eat meat at every meal, which is really not a problem because we've served meat at every meal, as you might have noticed. There's not been a single meal we've gone without feeding meat. So I'm going to rename him after you guys. Raffle timer's up. And let's go talk to his wife to let his wife know that he's not going to be turned and killed. Um, I'm also very tempted to steal that book. I think I will. May the all-seeing eye... I mean, it saved your husband from, like, death, so... Uh... Yeah. Gained a little suspicion. I'm okay with that. It's- it's- it was too much- too much of an opportunity to pass up. And I read... The Tutris. Also, Taurus, I have some, like... Oh, well, you can't use medium armor yet, but you will be able to in a minute, depending on how you we level you up. Uh, speaking of which, how to level them up? That's a really good question. So we already have a Berserker, and we, we don't have a Sentinel, we don't have an Executioner, but you're welcome to vote on whatever. If we want two Berserkers, that's fine. So how to level Taurus? He could also oh whoops. He could also become a berserker like Helga for Rampage. He could become an executioner with the cutting maelstrom. Or Sentinel to be able to bo boost uh wear heavy armor and uh he heavy helmet and boost uh, allies. So the differences here is strength, medium armor, strength, medium armor, or constitution heavy armor. Um and in terms of his actual tra traits, he's carnivorous, so he's not really driven by traits that much at all. Uh, have you guys decided on that?
Or these guards that are pissed at me? Yeah. I'm gonna sprint away from them. Oh, they just like flopped over in the in the mist. Where's the ghosts? Here we go. This is the other fight I wanted, uh, because I want to start making ghost gear, so running into the haunted areas is ideal. And it looks like you guys want um him to so he's wounded. And I can't level him up in mid-combat, but we're going to make him a sentinel after this. So I'm going to keep him sort of out of the fight. Because he's uh, the worst, worst for wear. So we have wolf, wolf, boar. So we want to kill the boar first, probably. Uh, the first one to act is the boar. Mm, Kath. And Diamond, you're going to be the best at killing the boar. Okay. Start this off. Or is dead. I don't even know why I said diamond. Uh, I didn't need backup. All right, wolves don't act for a while, and the north wolf acts first. Roy, let's just embarrass these dudes. Hmm. Oops. Mm, totally misclick. <laughs> Please take a turn. They didn't even get to act. I did get two white leather. Which was the reagents we need to start making ghost gear. So Taurus, my good friend, you are my sentinel. I like sentinels. I like um, forcing attacks of opportunity on engaged targets. And then I'm going to give him constitution. Give him one of these deserter burgund uh, uh, burgundines. Uh, but knowing that we owe him better armor than that. At some point. Hi, guards. Now, let me ditch into the woods here. Wow, they seem to be hunting me. Oh, okay, they lost track of me. Good. Congrat. Well, okay, shield. <laughs> you already have a character named after you, so I'm going to reroll that. Turtle. A sentinel named Turtle. This will be an easy fight. Just three standard wolves. Almost feel bad. The first one that acts... I'm not even going to change much about the layout of the fight. Where's Roy? Yeah, now the wolves show up, now that I don't need them, right? Just the way it works. Oh, great. I moved so I can't actually hit them. I'm a genius. What a waste of turn. If you right-click on um, some of the abilities that have area effects like that, it will show you its, like, range as you move around. Uh, which is useful for avoiding situations where, like, you move out of range and can't hit anything. And this wolf should have the surrounded penalty here in a sec. Oh, really? You're not surrounded yet? Eh, whatever, I don't care. I'm surprised, though. But I don't care. Oh, there it goes. Surrounded after I kill it, of course, right? Carcass, wolf, pristine fangs, and grease. 
and Helga leveled up. So Helga, being the Berserker, will give you double strength. And I'm going to need to camp. Uh, turtles without a profession. So, um, the professions we currently don't have assigned. He could... So it's a little weird for him to become an alchemist. Uh, he could become a scholar. Or a angler. It wouldn't be terrible for him to have... Um, alchemy, but it doesn't really help his class much. Or alternatively, I could switch her because I don't have a lot of stat points invested in like um, woodcutter. I could always like have Helga change or someone else change. So um, at some point, I might query you guys about what you think. So uh, for now, I can make him a scholar just because there's a monolith for me to analyze here. So I might as well just do that. Because I can always switch them afterwards. There's nothing to cook. We already have our stratagem assigned. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and rest. I'm gonna eat some wolf carcasses. So so the way this works is because um, turtle is carnivorous, he needs to eat at least a meat per meal. So there has to be at least one meat served. Uh, but as long as there's one meat served, he's he's fine. There's a little bit of a danger level, um, but we're, we're tired, so we're just going to rest and risk it. And as you can see, your suspicion level drops over time. And there was a fragment of a small item, a unusual antiquity that Turtle ended up finding. Um, and I can also craft a banner. So the banner is the item that kind of formalizes our mercenary group. Um, so when I get a little bit more wood, I can craft that. That'll be pretty cool. So the last knowledge point that you had me do, I saved. Do you want me to spend it? And if I spent it, these are the options. So in knowledge, we could go with restoration to help repair our armor better or drinking buddies to try to have a relationship. I'm actually surprised we haven't had friendship so far. Um, especially given how often I've used first aid to like heal people and how much synergy I do for positioning. That kind of surprises me. Uh, for work, for uh, the workshop, I would probably go hitching post so that we can carry more because we're getting not exactly close to our carry max, but we're we're going to get there eventually. Or even the, um, the improved strategy table for more uh, valor points. For anvil, I might consider... Hmm... Now that we have some ghost gear, maybe the ghost buckler or helmets or an armor, a uh, cooking pot would just be more recipes, and then apothecary table I wouldn't do, but it's possible that um it's possible that that turtle becomes our apothecary, and then diamond has uh, something to talk about. The world is much bigger than I anticipated. It feels like I could spend my life traveling and still never visit the same place twice. I am going to pick the top option. Diamond and Kath are now friends. Hey, look at that. So here, if I click Diamond, he has a... He likes Kath, and the inverse is true. Kath likes Diamond. And as a result of that, one of the two required inseparables have been fulfilled. Nice. I was just complaining or commenting about how I was like, man, I haven't gotten any relationship so far. And then it happened. Hopefully our um, suspicion level can drop before the guards catch up to us. I'd like to try to get back to town, um, which is like this way. But those guards are going to want to stop us. Still, I think it was worth it to steal that book for extra knowledge points. I don't regret it. We're just going to have to keep a low profile for a bit. Yeah, friendship is magic. <laughs> exactly. Oh, who's in the woods? Uh, I don't really care. 
You guys are probably too weak for me to care about. Heading into Stormcap. Turn in our uh, our old bounty bounties. Because, you know, you apparently be there's no work? guards in town. Here is your reward. So we have the Tomb of the Ancients. Um, I'll take the Rat Infestation and the Vanquish that is to the east in the same direction of the rats. Because there's some synergy there. Uh, in town, there is a Traitless Warrior, a Traitless Swordsman, and a, tr a Confident Pugilist. At this point, I think if we recruit anyone... To put my thumb on the scale. And, uh, Crimson, I, like, missed your cheer. Sorry about that. But, but thank you. Um, cheers back at you. To put my thumb on the scale, I think we need another ranger. Another archer. Uh, we have a lot of male heirs, and we just haven't been hiring archers at all. So, if I was to do anything, that would be it. Um, we are... We got a lot of random stuff to sell and some forging possibly to do. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. So what can I actually make? Like, nothing? Yeah, literally nothing. We don't... I, I could buy leather. So if we had a... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna move Turtle here, because he's another heavy tank. So he needs... We need a, a combination of things. Roy needs another two-hander. Turtle needs armor at the very least. So that's what I'm going to aim for. So the cost of the two-hander, because I haven't made any two-handers yet, let's go with... I don't have the wood for that, so that's going to be moot. So the best thing I could do right now is to maybe make a helmet. A helmet for Turtle. I think, yeah. And you guys want me to spend my knowledge points in the knowledge tree? So I'm going to do drinking buddies. I don't really need drinking buddies, but it kind of fits with the theme of everything here. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. I'll just buy all of his leather and, uh, and uh, hemp. So I'm sure to use it. You touch it, you buy it. And then buy some mutton and grapes for more Those mutton stew. Geez. I understand there's a war in Edoran. Cool. Clinic. We also wanted to heal Turtle of My his infection. Can heal the most so injuries. for that, buy a cure for the plague. Sure it's a little to the expensive, but you know, losing. I don't want him plagued forever. Go to him, click on the infection, and treat. He's still carnivorous, but now he won't go, like, crazy and and murder everyone if he runs out of, you know, that. So, that's good. Uh, yeah, we still have plenty of medicine left over. So what we have left is to go back to the forge. So I've never made a throwing knife or a throwing sickle, and we do get um, knowledge points for that, so that might be worth doing just to get the knowledge points. Let me try to make a nice helmet, though. I've been sucking at this. Nope. Missed two. I'm bad at that. Uh, all right. I'll make the knife and the sickle just for the points. It does use up the remainder of my, um, my wood, but I think that's fine. Hey, Ben. How's it going, man? Thank you for the raid, and welcome to your crew. Here's a little burb about, uh, about the game and the series for you new guys to, to read. Um, welcome. I appreciate it. So what were you playing today? You were playing... Oh, Zed Zone. I played Zenzo. Not on stream, but that's a fun game. It's a little weird, a little hard to play, but fun nonetheless. Alright, nice. So I got another uh, knowledge point. 
as a result of all that crafting. You wanted to raid me to see how bad it can get? Oh, I have been super dominating. Not not to br humble brag, but like it. I'm only on the experience difficulty, and I've just been like you can use massacring my everything. I can also um, repair your armor. So at some point, I'm going to be moving on to a harder zone, and that might cease to be true. But for now, like everything has been really easy. Um, turtle, here is your helmet, and you get shielding. Nice. I wonder if that helmet's better than... Yeah. What is that? Nine armor, four guard? That's probably the same as Kath. Oh, Kath is slightly better because I would crafted it more capably. Alright, we're done here. Uh, I do have that other knowledge point, so um, how do you want me to spend this one? So here are the, the options if, uh, if you want me to go over them. For knowledge, I would probably do four money, crowns after battle. The amount of crowns I get per battle is pretty low, so the 5% bonus is not very much. But, uh, there you go, buddy. But uh, there's nothing really else in there that I would want. Maybe Feet Makers for more maximum Valor points, that might be okay. Uh, for Workshop, I would probably get the improved Hitching Post, so that we could uh, have more carry weight from our, um, our horse, or Strategy Table. One or the other, both would work. And Cody's Child, thank you for uh, the bits. Do bits make the game last longer? It does. It does indeed. Uh, for Anvil, I'd likely invest in armor. So that we can start making armor. And then Cooking Pot would just be recipes. I'm not really sure what profession Turtle's going to take. Um, but let's try to avoid the law heading east to the vermin and the gang that I have to kill. I'm just going to have to run around this town a little bit to avoid the law, because I, I did just recently steal, and I'd like to lose my uh, wanted rep. My Crimson, thank you for the gifted subs, too. Wares, my good sirs. Oh. Um. <laughs> both of these items are really, really good. I'm going to buy both. Hot damn. And thank you, Raiders, for cheers. I'll drink to that. Alright, so we have a one-headed axe. That's definitely going to go to Helgar, our Berserker. And this axe is the uh, Peace Bearer's Axe. <laughs> Which is, um, if the unit still has guard, you attack twice. So, really good opener. Cut them open. Also, that axe looks dwarvish. I love it. Um, that means that Turtle can take her old axe. Turtle needs a targ or shield, but Turtle can also take this Tracker's Breastplate. Actually, hmm, Tracker's Breastplate might be better for... Oh, let's see. It's basically the same stats, but slower for... Oh, it's the same all around for, uh... Uh, for shield big brody thanks for the gifted man thank you for the hype train guys cheers i appreciate it so uh banlish have you played um oh i see you're going dogs going nuts you're gonna be back uh his raiders have he has he played uh war tales on stream and if you're not familiar with war tales it is a mercenary uh squad game turn-based role-playing squad game very similar to, uh, to Battle Brothers. Um, maybe a little bit less difficult than Battle Brothers, though. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to give this new armor to Turtle. Man, he looks sick. That's, that's a cool look. Um, and then Turtle's, like, owed a shield, but until I have a shield, I'll give him a throwing axe for more crit damage. Thank you for tuning in to War Tales, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 27th as a marathon. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that I'm relatively new to the game, and this was also streamed once as a marathon, meaning feedback cannot be incorporated. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, like this marathon, 
you can go to rodamont.com for my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Twitch. And if you would like to join my online gaming community as well, you can go to rodamont.com or a link in the description of this video to join Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and those that turned out for the marathon, and also viewers like you that tuned in on YouTube and made it all the way to the credits. So thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream of mine. Farewell, my fellow mercenaries.